Oh, that feels like a flathead bite. So we've done a bit of a move. And by a bit of a move, I mean about 25 k's. The weatherman has got it wrong again, as they do. It's certainly a little bit sloppier than we were hoping for. But that's fishing, and that's particularly fishing at Port Walshpool. You've really got to watch your weather up here. Let's see what we've got though. So, they did a move. Not a huge fish, but that's not a bad fish. We'll keep him. Well and truly legal. All right, this feels like a flathead has taken one of my bigger gummy baits. Hopefully it's a decent one. Rod the rod three here is also getting a hit. Quite often the flathead out here in the deep, they'll eat some big baits. That rod there's definitely got a fish as well. Here we go, what have I got? Another flathead. Once again, not a big fish, but well and truly legal. That'll make a good eater, very nice sweet fillets. This one feels like it could be a gurnard. Gurnards have got a habit, they just open their big bucket mouth and it's like pulling a small bucket back up through the water column. Gurnard can taste brilliant to eat, I'm told. They're just covered in big poisonous spines that will put you in a lot of pain. So a lot of weight, but not doing much. A flathead would kick on the way up. Well, I'm confident it's a gurnard. Oh, but now I'm wrong. It's actually a double head or a flathead. So why would you catch one fish when you can catch two? We're certainly going to get a feed of flatties for dinner. Another flathead. The bait I'm using for flathead, by the way, guys, is flathead. Some of the best bait you'll ever use to catch flathead is other flathead fillets. Good thing about them too, they're very hardy. You'll often catch three or four fish just off the one piece of bait. So I think this move was worthwhile. So we had to punch head on for about 25, 30 k's to get where I wanted to go, but paying off dividends on the flathead so far. It's another one. He might get let go, that one is a bit small. So another flathead, now that's a good hint. I picked up that rod and thought, that's not on the bottom. So I let out about a metre of line so that it hit the bottom. Bang, straight away, flathead climbed all over it. So when you're drifting for your flathead, make sure you've got enough lead that you are pretty much dragging on the bottom the whole time. Another flatty. This one can go back. So this is a very big bait. This was a cooter head and it was getting lots of bites before and did nothing. I just picked it up to check it and there's a lot of weight on it. And as I look at my sounder, there's fish under us right now. Here's my back. This is either a decent flathead or a big gurnard. It's got a lot of weight. The other rod over here is getting hit as well. That's about to go. That's got a fish on it. Here we go, what have we got? Ah, oh, yeah, my dreaded enemy. That is what you call a gurnard. As I said, they're meant to be a very good eating fish. But they've got so many spikes, you do not want to touch any of those spikes, guys. You'll be in pain all afternoon. Only way to handle them, an extended long flatty flip, a really long one. This one's about 500 mil long. And just roll them off. So fish on this rod again. And while I'm doing this rod, one's getting a bite as well. We certainly found a patch of flathead. Just hopefully there's a big gummy swimming around here too.
What have I got? Is it a flathead or is it another dreaded gurnard? Oh! It's a flathead and that is a real flathead. That's got to be 46, 47 centimetres. That's a real flathead, that's what we come here for. This feels like another flathead. Might actually be a, a double. I did feel it get one bite that hooked up and I dropped it back down because there's two hooks and it got hit pretty hard so I might get a second one out of this yet. Feels like it's two. We haven't been able to find the real big ones today so far. What have I got here? Yep. Two flathead. Now the bottom one's well and truly legal, the top one probably borderline. I'm going to release them both, let them both go back to grow a bit more. This feels like another flathead. I think what we're going to do after this, we haven't got the gummy that we're hoping for out here. It is a little bit sloppy too. We might do a run back inside. So we're coming up to that stage of the tide where inside could be quite good. Well guys, we just ate a run. We're back inside now. Offshore is a bit sloppy. The weatherman certainly got it wrong today. It was meant to be glass calm, but it's not. So we've just come inside. We've anchored up here. We're going to try and catch a gummy here. We've got about an hour left in the tide. So let's see how we go for a gummy, guys. So stay tuned and hopefully we'll catch that big grey for you. Got something on here. Nothing exciting. A bit of weight, but it's nothing too exciting. Might be a flatfish, like a little banjo or something. Let's see what we've got. Oh, what do you reckon it is? Tell you what it is. Look at that. That is not a bad bycatch. That's a very solid flathead. We'll have that one. Well, we got to the bottom of the tide and nothing major. We've got something small on here. We'll see what we've got in a moment. But um, we're going to pull the anchor up. We're going to have a sound around here and see if we can find something to anchor on for the start of the flood. What have I got here? Whoa! Whoa, whoa wait till you see this, guys. This is a huge... Oh. A huge... Ah, got to lift it! Ah, look at that! <laughs> That's the catch of the day, eh? A little baby school shark. Look at that. Actually, is that a bronzy or a schoolie? It's a school shark. Just a little baby school shark. Look at the size of that. I hold it out to the camera. Got to have long arms there. Eh? Cute little pup. It wouldn't be very old that. We'll let that go to grow a bit bigger. Well everybody, it's getting late in the day, it's really starting to cool off now, it is May, it is into the winter time, so it's starting to get a bit cold, we're going to call it a day. We've had a pretty good day on the water, not good on the fishing, but you know what, not every day is about catching a lot of fish. We've been to Refuge Cove, oh my god, what a spot, I hope you've enjoyed that and encourages you to go and have a look there. So stay tuned after the break. And we're going to show you how we prepare those magical flathead that we caught today. And we'll bring them to the table for you. So see you after the break, guys.